Here are some useful tips and tricks for easier and more affordable cat care. See which ones you like, and have fun with me, Coffee Cat, as we find out new and interesting ideas together. 1. Reduce litter box odors by sprinkling baking soda, or loose leaf green tea, in the bottom of the litter pan. 2. Use everyday objects like bottle caps, pipe cleaners, and old playing cards as cat toys, instead of expensive store-bought options. This sounds like a great idea to me. I do love playing with ordinary, everyday objects. Some of my best memories are of playing with plastic bubble wrap and ribbons from parcels. I still know where those ribbons are kept, so anytime that cupboard is opened I pop in to chew on the ribbons. 3. Grow your own catnip in pots, for an endless supply of feline entertainment. I enjoy a little catnip and cat grass too. We should get some more of that mummy cat. I think the ones we had died. Mummy cat does not have a good track record with plants. 4. Use a bell on your cat's collar to keep track of their movements indoors, but always use a breakaway collar for safety. If you need a cat collar we have about 6 in the kitchen drawer. I absolutely refuse to wear a collar and I've invented plenty of ways to get them off. I am an indoor cat, so it doesn't matter too much, but for outdoor cats, I think a collar and an ID tag are very important. 5. Create a DIY cat scratcher, using materials like an old welcome mat, twine wrapped around plywood, or a free carpet sample attached to a wooden board. That would work very well. I especially like the welcome mat idea. I could really get my claws into that deep, rough matting. 6. Place a box on your desk to distract your cat, when you need to work without interruptions. Oh, how I love boxes. I actually think this idea might work for me, but I have a very short attention span, so I'm not sure how long it would work for. 7. Use rubber gloves to easily remove cat hair from furniture before vacuuming. This would work wonders. I know I shed fur all over the place. Daddy cat spends a lot of time removing it with a noisy vacuum cleaner, or by using a damp cloth too. Sometimes I even pick up a clump and eat it. Apparently it's not good for me, so I really should stop that. 8. Store dry cat food in a plastic pitcher, or cereal container, to keep it fresh and make pouring easier. It's a good idea, particularly if there's no snap lock on the bag it comes in. 9. Wrap furniture legs in twine, to provide an acceptable scratching surface, and protect your furniture. This I like, very much. Extra scratching surfaces would make me extra happy. I wonder how long it would take me to remove the twine from the chair legs. 10. Use creative solutions for litter box placement, such as cutting a hole in a storage container, for a more discreet litter box location. That's an excellent alternative for the expensive covered litter boxes. I would like Daddy Cat to do this for me. These hacks can help make caring for your cat easier, cheaper and more efficient while also enhancing the quality of your cat's life. I pretty much like all of these suggestions. As a discerning cat, I think they're quite plausible and useful ideas. As an added bonus, here are some household items you can use to make cat toys too. 1. Empty paper or cloth bags, cut off handles and add breathing holes for safety. This would entertain me well. I always come around when the groceries arrive. They come in paper bags with handles, but I still get inside them. It's heaps of fun. 2. Cardboard boxes, create hiding spots or cat houses. 
There's really nothing better than a cardboard box for a cat. I appear out of nowhere when a box parcel appears in the house. Even if it's only a small box, I'll try to get inside it. Sometimes only my head fits, but it's fun to try. 3. Plastic bottle caps, great for cats to bat around and chase. I already steal bottle caps from milk or juice, sometimes even when they're still not finished with. One of my favorites is the cap from a Powerade bottle. There's a couple of them in the courtyard, along with some plastic balls. 4. Empty toilet paper or paper towel tubes, cut holes and fill with treats for a puzzle toy. Well, I know where these come from, because whenever there's a new toilet paper put on, there has to be an old, empty one, somewhere. Sometimes I'll get one myself, by unraveling the toilet paper off the roll. This is a fun game. 5. Crumpled paper balls, simple but effective for batting and chasing. I love plastic snack bar wrappers tied in a knot too. They don't go far when thrown, but I will leap up into the air to catch them and it's one of my favorite games. 6. Empty pizza boxes with holes, provides a lounging spot and toy fishing game. That's an interesting idea. I never thought of that. 7. Empty pill bottles, clean thoroughly and fill with dry beans or rice for a noise-making toy. That rattling sound would be great, as I roll the bottle around the floor. Good idea. 8. Old t-shirts, cut into strips and tie knots to make rope toys. I already have one of these and I do play with it. This is also a great idea for kittens and even human babies, for chewing, when teething. 9. Aluminum foil balls, many cats love chasing these. I have a few of these, stashed around the house, for safekeeping, along with paper straws which I hide under the mats and lolly papers if I can get them quick enough, without getting caught with them. 10. Gift wrapping ribbons tied to a stick, creates an enticing wand toy. Yes, this would make me happy. I do love my ribbons so this would work a treat. I do have one like this, but mummy and daddy cat rotate my toys, so I don't get bored with them. I'm sure it'll turn up again one day. It is important to remember to always supervise your cat with homemade toys, and remove any small parts that could be swallowed. These DIY options can provide engaging and affordable entertainment for your feline friend. Sometimes I like these better even than store-bought toys. I hope you enjoyed these lists, and got some good ideas from them. Lots of love, Coffee Cat.